Today we read start chapter 5, the meeting of Nanda Maharaj and Vasudeva. <clears throat> As described in this chapter, Nanda Maharaj very gorgeously performed the birth ceremony for his newborn child. Then he went to Krishna Kamsa to pay taxes due and met his intimate friend Vasudeva. There was great jubilation all over Vrindavan due to Krishna's birth. Everyone was overwhelmed with joy. Therefore, the King Raja Maharaj Nanda wanted to perform the birth ceremony for his child. And this he did. During this great festival, Nanda Maharaja gave in charity to all present whatever they desired. This also these days also happens in the Indian family. If this family is, is an opulent family, and it depends also there on mood. It's not like that everybody is doing, but many places they are doing in India. So this we can understand that this is a parampara, traditional things that will happening. It was not like that. It's something started today. It was existing 5,000 years before also. After the festival, Nanda Maharaj <clears throat> put the coward men in charge of protecting Gokula. And then he went to Mathura to pay official taxes to Kamsa. <clears throat> In Mathura, Nanda Maharaj and Sudeva. Nanda Maharaj and Vasudeva were brothers. And Vasudeva praised Nanda Maharaj good fortune because he knew that Krishna had accepted Nanda Maharaj as his father. When Vasudeva inquired from Nanda Maharaj about the welfare of the child, Nanda Maharaj informed him all about Vrindavan. And Vasudeva was very much satisfied by this. Although he expressed his grief because Devaki's many children had been killed by Kamsa. Nanda Maharaj consoled Vasudeva by saying that everything happens according to destiny and that one who knows this is not aggrieved. Expecting many disturbances in Gokula, Vasudeva then advised Nanda Maharaj not to wait in Mathura, but to return to Vrindavan as soon as possible. Thus, Nanda Maharaj took leave of Vasudeva and returned to Vrindavan with the other coward men on their bullock carts. Shri Sukha Uvacha Nandas Tvatmaj Utpanne Jata Halladu Mahamana Ayu Habi Pranaveda Gyan Asnata Suchir Alankrita Vachitva Swastayanam Vachitva Swastayanam Jat Karmat Jasyavai Karyamas Vidivat Pitri Devarchanam Tatha Sukadeva Goswami said, Nanda was naturally very magnanimous, magnanimous. And when Lord Krishna appeared as his son, he was overwhelmed by jubilation. Simply, the same thing happened with the father. When the first newborn baby come, and why not? Nanda Baba was very old devotee, life and life. And he got Krishna as his son. Mostly when he crossed his tea 
after bathing and purifying himself and dressing himself properly, he invited brahmanas who knew how to recite Vedic mantras. The same thing still happens in Indian society. After having these qualified brahmans recite, auspicious Vedic celebrated for his newborn child according to the rules and regulation and be and he also arranged for worship of the demigods and forefathers with this uh, Two biggest uh, classified books. Here in Srimad Bhagavatam, many things have been told that all things working with a certain rules and regulation. But in the flow of the rasa, there is no rules, there is no regulation. It is very clearly written in Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi. Thus, this Rasa, Madhuri Rasa, can only attain by breaking all rules and regulation. So, Srimad Bhagavatam is one side. Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi and Vilap Kusumanjali, these type of books are other side. We cannot differentiate because I am not qualified. But really, after reading the level of is higher than anything else. The level of Madhurya is the high, higher than anything else. Just because of some knowledge that in the past at Krishna's timing what happened, This is, we are beginners. I, I think that I am completely beginners. So this is very important to read Srimad Bhagavatam also. Hari Guru Varshna Bhagavad Gita. This is uh, the way of Vaishnava etiquettes. So I am not saying that Srimad Bhagavatam is less than any scripture. It is the pillar of Vaishnavism. And uh, it is really something like this that we cannot deny. The knowledge what is there in Srimad Bhagavatam. But if when we talk about rasa, then we can feel inside that actually what Srimad Bhagavatam is saying. <laughs> it's just moving us from that flow that really we are saying a long time. We want to be there. But good, this is also. We need knowledge of from Srimad Bhagavatam also. That's why we we need this. We cannot say we cannot separate this Srimad Bhagavatam from our question of tradition. Very important. And he also arranged for worship of the day and forefathers. Purport. Srila Vishwanatha Chakravarti Thakur has discussed the significance of the words. Nandastu. The word tu, he says, is not used to fulfill the sentence. Because without tu, the sentence is complete. Therefore, the word tu is used for a different purpose. Although Krishna appeared as the son of Devaki, Devaki and Vasudeva did not enjoy the Jat karma. Jat means the navel cutting ceremony. This uh, here.
नंदस्तु आत्मने वे नंद महाराज में वासुदेव वासुदेव कुड नॉट डिस्क्लोज योर सन कृष्णा इज एक्चुअली माई सन यू आर हिज फादर इन ए डिफरेंट वे स्पिरिचुअली बिकॉज ऑफ फियर ऑफ कंसा वासुदेव कुड नॉट ऑब्जर्व महाराज ऑफ दिस ऑपरचुनिटी बोथ आर नॉट ऑर्डिनरी फादर बोथ आर नॉट ऑर्डिनरी डिवोटी बट यू डेस्टाइन यू सी वासुदेव एन देव की दे कैनट एंजॉय दिस एंड दिस ऑपॉर्चुनिटी हाउ नाइसली नंदा महाराज गॉट From this, when the umbilical cord, this navel connecting the child and the placenta is cut, that is called jat karma. However, since Krishna was brought by Basudeva to the house of Nanda Maharaj, where was the chance for this to happen? Because Krishna was brought by Nanda Maharaj. वासुदेवा टू द हाउस ऑफ नंद महाराज राधे राधे एंड यू म्यूट म्यूट इट अगेन म्यूट सचिन नंदना जी Can you hear me now? So, Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur desired to prove with evidence from many sastras, and that Krishna actually took birth as the son of Yashoda before the birth of Yoga Maya, who is therefore described as the Lord's younger sister, even though. there may be doubts about the cutting of the umbilical cord and even though it is possible that this was not done when the supreme personality of god had appears such events are factual 
Krishna appeared as Varaha Deva from the nostrils of Brahma. And therefore, Brahma is the described as the father of Varaha Deva. Also significant are the words Karayam Asa Bidivat. Being overwhelmed with jubilation over the birth of his son, Nanda Maharaja did not see whether the cord was cut or not. not. So for Nanda Maharaj, celebration was important. Not the rituals was important. So this happens with the spiritual people. They forget ritual. And the celebration becomes primary. Like when we have Radhashtami or the Janamashtami, Krishnashtami, this Abhishek program becomes the uh, important. And instead of Chanting different Veda mantras and hymns. Maha mantra is going on. So, here, by this sentence, it has been shown to us that this is the part of Raga Nuga Bhakti. Thus, he performed the ceremony very joyously. Gorgeously. Means for devotees, the celebration of Ishtadeva is important. It doesn't see rituals. If we want to do the Abhishek with the different three, four, five things honey, yogurt, milk, sugar, coconut water, eh? aguru, perfume, saffron water, or the, some other different waters. So it gives the pleasure of Krishna's body, Radharani's body. So this we are interested to do more rather than doing ne- ne- rituals. Oh, bring this, bring this, bring pan, beetal nuts, big this, big banana, uh, bring this uh, kumkum, bring this flower, take in your hand, close your hand. So these rituals, we totally forget. The same thing, the Ra- Nanda Maharaj is the symbol of Raganuga Bhakti. He didn't care if forgotten that it had done or not. The celebration was important. That's why for us, the birthday of Radharani, the birthday of Krishna, the appearance day of our Acharyas and our Parampara people. So these happen, this becomes very important. This becomes important for us. Not the ritual. Celebration becomes important. The same thing happened with Nanda Maharaj. According to the opinion of some authorities, Krishna was actually born as the son of Yashoda. In any case, without regard for material understanding, we can accept that Nanda Maharaj's celebration for the ceremony of Krishna's birth was proper. So we no, no need to go through material understanding because Raga Nuga mood is not through material understanding. Krishna's ceremony of birth was proper. The ceremony is therefore well known everywhere as Nandotsava. And this Nandotsava happened after the birth, next second day, not on the day, it happened on the next day. So the next day we call Nandotsava. This is different in, in our here temple because of the time and different circumstances we celebrating the Nandotsava also at the same day. But actually it happened like this. Text 3. Denu naam niyote pradat viprabhya samlankrite tiladrina sapta Ratnoksat 
Nanda Maharaj gave two million cows, completely decorated with clothes and jewels, in charity to the Brahminas. He also gave them seven hills of grain, Tiladrin Sapta, Ratnauga, Satakom Bhamb, Baravartan. In charity to the Brahmanas, he also gave them seven hills of grains, covered with jewels and with cloth, decorated with golden embroidery. Text 4. Kalena Snana Saucha Bhyam Sanskares Sanskares Tapas Se Jayaya Shudhanti Dane Santastya Dravyanyan Matma Vidya Kalena Snana Saucha Bhyam Sanskares Tapse Jayaya Shudhanti Dane Santustya Dravyanyan Matma Vidya Kalena Snana Sauchabhyam O King, by the passing of time, land and other material possessions are purified by bathing. The body is purified. Samskares Tapasejaya Shudhyanti Dane Santustaya Dhruvyane Atmana Vidyaya By the passing of time, land and other material possessions are Purified by Bhati. The body is purified. One moment. Sorry. O King, by the passing of time, land and other material possessions are purified. Like what? By bathing, the body is purified. And by being clean, by being cleansed, unclean, unclean things are purified. By Purificatory ceremonies, birth is purified. By austerity, the senses are purified. And by worship and charity offered to the Brahmanas, material possessions are purified. By satisfaction, the mind is purified. And by self realization or Krishna consciousness, the soul is purified. It's all said over here about purification. It is very easy to understand that how the things can become purified. These are sastric injunctions concerning how one can purify everything according to the Vedic civilization. Unless purified, anything we use will infect us with contamination. In India, 5,000 years ago, even in the villages, such as that of Nanda Maharaj, people knew how to purify things. And thus, they enjoyed even material life without contamination. So sometimes, it becomes very important for Grihastha. If we are in family life, Or if we have material existence, definitely we have. We cannot deny this. But we need to purify this material existence with something. But at my point of view, as per the parampara, Vaishnava purify the things in different ways. For Vaishnava, it is like chanting Harinam. Diksha Mantra. Purification instructions by our spiritual mind. Not that much rough and tough, hard, hardcore lines, instruction, no. 
but ultimate purification is chanting hari naam i think that the biggest purifier what we got through our parampara ashraman mahaprabhu maybe i am right maybe i am, i am wrong but it it coming in my mind this our purification is chanting with the making with the feeling no. having regards our family people vaishnava family people the respect humbleness and kindness all these things i say we and vaishnava tradition by using all these things we can purify ourselves i'm not saying that what the translate is translated over there by the purification is things this is also important because this coming also through this vedic vedic scriptures so vedas are also the words or the sound of our shri krishnas text 5 swamangali giro vipraha sut magad vandinah gayakascha jagurner durbheryo dund bhayo means brahmanas recited auspicious vedic hymns which purified the environment by their vibration the expert in reciting old histories like the pranas please please the general reciters all chanted while and many kinds of musical instruments like berries and blood in accompaniment environment of celebration so all these things for the jubilation you know different expert people were enjoying or glorifying the environment by their different skills text 6 ja samrishta sanchikta dwara jagir grihantara chitra dwaj pataka astra kachail pallav thorane braja pura means braja was and the residence of nanda maharaj was fully decorated with varieties of gates were made with varieties of flower garlands pieces of cloth and mango leaves the courtyards the gates near the roads and everything within the room of the houses were perfectly swept and washed what how nicely this is saying that when we have vaishnava have this celebration that's why gurudev always you see the radha mohan flower decoration is so beautiful in our temple inside outside everywhere and the putting this uh, leaves andan bar everywhere so this uh, showing a very beautiful creating a very beautiful nice environment over there <laughs> it really looks like except so that really gurudev is like nanda baba and the celebration is also like uh, <laughs> vrindavan that all the flower decoration and everything was seemingly uh, almost same hari tik 7 gavo vrishavat satra haridra tail roshita Vichitra dhatur bhagastra va vasanchan malina. The cows, the bulls, and the calves were truly smeared with a mixture of turmeric and oil, mixed with varieties of minerals. 
their heads were bedecked with peacock feathers and they were garlanded and covered with clothes and golden ornaments this is showing the opulence of nanda maharaj was the king of braj purport the supreme personality of godhead has instructed in bhagavat gita krishi go rakshaya vanijyam vaishya karma swabhavajam farming and cow protection are trade are the qualities of work for the vaishyas nanda maharaj belong to the vaishya community the agriculturalist community how to protect the cow and how rich this community was are explained in these verses decorating cows and calves with the golden ornaments it's itself showing the opulence of nanda maharaj we can hardly imagine that cows bulls and calves could be cared for so nicely and decorated so well with clothes and valuable golden ornaments how happy they were as described elsewhere in the bhagavatam during maraj yudhishthira's cows also have mud as ground with milk is the milk automatically come coming it was no need to the cows to milk the cow so cows were and calves were so happy that the milk was coming out automatically without milling these cows. and the place where they were about to standing this place was completely muddy with their milk so this happens whenever we still we feel sometime we are nicely cured after the birth of the baby the drops are coming out at the standing or sitting this place is you can see the milk is there without milking so it shows the happiness of the cows so this is indian civilization yet in the same place india bharat varsha how much people are suffering by giving up the vedic way of life considering the ordinary animal this happening in india considering the cow dung the ordinary shit human shit comparably they are looking like this they are looking cow pp the same thing at the with the material as they are looking so it is not like this cow dung is not ordinary and cow urine is not ordinary but this atheist they cannot see these things they say what you are saying it's a cow poop when you are saying cow dung it's a cow pp like ordinary atheists you are just the pp drinker and the shit eater they are saying in india like this but this is my personal experience what they are saying doesn't matter once till these years once one bucket of cow urine i took and that nice amount of cow dung i took one day i felt drinking different soaps but at some parts maybe my hands gone and when i smelled with my hand i felt that this is smelling very bad and i don't know what came in mind there my and the i should be done so i collected one bucket of cow urine completely full bucket big bucket like this and this much amount of cow dung i gone in the bathroom believe me when i took bath with this cow urine i'm not saying that you should do
this is my i'm doing I, these hairs were looking that i use shampoo and when i put the cow dung completely the mixture of the cow dung the smell and the cow urine when they mix the whole body was so much with good smell i cannot explain this and i felt lot lot energetic and this smell remain till long time yeah the one thing happened that the color of cow dung and the color of urine what the cloth i was wearing it got permanently and this you cannot it is not possible to remove by any show so this happened but the body was very and i was feeling very energetic and nice this is my personal experience that i say giving a big of light understanding the teachings of bhagavad gita text 8 mahar vasra bhran kanchuk koshnish bhushita gopa samayayu rajan nano payan panaya O King Parikshit, the cowherd men dressed very opulently with valuable ornaments and garments such as coats and turbans, decorated in this way, and carrying various presentations in their hand, they approached the house of Nanda Maharaj. When we consider now the purport, when we consider the past conditions of the agriculturist, how farmers were there at that time. in the village we can see how opulent he was simply because of agricultural produce and protection of cows at the present however agriculture having been neglected people from village they are migrating to seek job 4000 5000 10000 15000 20000 rupees per month living the trade treasure of the village the land their own land they are moving to big cities looking the big lights in the cities only how it's shining in the night time when the all lights are on that's it having neglected and no protection given up cow protection given up the agriculturist is suffering pity pitiably and is dressed in a niggardly torn torn clothes when you will go to the villages you will see the situation of the farmers some of them even don't have the nice clothes to wear this is the distinction between the india of history and the india of the present day by the atrocious activities of ugra karma violent karma how we are killing the opportunity to opportunity of human situation this respect of the cow in the society the different kind of misery miseries in the societies and we can see through the news what's happening inside the society the so called very educated fancy well dressed society people go in every day news you can see the what is the happening what these type of people are able to give the society how the society are influenced by these type of the opulent and high qualified people six nine gopes chakar nimudita yashodaya swatam anam bhusyas kurvast kalpanch nadvi the gopi wives of the cowherd men we are very pleased to hear that they are again to decorate themselves very nicely with proper dresses 
ornaments, black ointment for the eyes and so on. They were so happy. Wife of cow herd boys, they called gopis. Very nice. Difficult to explain in the world. Is that how happy they were after listening? So this shows the heart of Brajbasis. No jealous, no envious. How was the environment that time? We can just imagine. Listening, someone's house, someone's family work. And the all people are with full of joy, decorating themselves, busy and decorate themselves. They're showing the pure purity of their heart. This need to accept. This need to apply in our life. It is saying like this. Text in. नव कुंकुमा किंजल का मुख पंकज भूतया बलि भिस्तरितम जगमु प्रति श्रोणश्च लत्कुचा देयर लोटस लाइक फेसेस एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरीली ब्यूटीफुल डेकोरेटेड विथ सैफ्रन एंड न्यूली ग्रोन कुंकुमा द वाइट ऑफ मेन Read to the heart. Wives had full hips and full breasts, which moved as they hurried along. Means they were looking so beautiful because with the pure heart they decorated themselves, and their body was also giving them, supporting them to beautifying them more and more. With every angle, how nicely they took it because they were in hurry, full of joy in the heart. Oh my God, I have to go to Mother Yashoda's house. Mother Yashoda gave birth his very beautiful son. We have to join this festival. So happy about this. So on that day, and Janmashtami, we need to be also crazy about like this. Third part: The cowherd men and women in the villages lived a nice life, and the women developed a natural feminine beauty with full hips and breasts. Because women in modern civilization do not live naturally; their hips and breasts do not de develop this natural fullness because of artificial. Official living, women also need to be. Although they claim to be independent and advanced in material civilization, these descriptions of the village women gives a clear example of the contrast between natural life and the artificial life of a condemned society, such as that of the Western countries, where topless, bottomless beauty. may be easily published and for public advertisements the word balibhi indicates that the women were carrying gold coins jeweled necklaces nice clothes newly grown grass sandalwood pulp flower garlands and similar offerings on plates made of gold such offerings are called bali the words toritam jagmu indicates how happy the villages women were to understand that mother yashoda had given birth to a wonderful child known as krishna text 11 gopiya sumrishtmani kundal niskantakan niskantai 
शितराम बरापति सिख्या सुतमाल्य वर्षा नंदालयम सबलया ब्रज त्रिविरेजु व्यार लोल कुंडल पयोधर हार शोभा In the ears of the gopis, were brilliantly polished jeweled ear rings, and from their necks hung metal lockets. Their hands were decorated with bangles. Their dresses were of varied colors, and from their hair, flowers fell onto the street like showers. Thus, while going to the house of Maharaj Nanda. The gopis, their earrings, breasts, and garland moving were brilliantly beautiful. Is the glorification of beauty at that time, the day of birth of Krishna? Purport the description of the gopis who were going to the house of Maharaj Nanda to welcome Krishna is especially significant. The gopis were not ordinary women. Expansions of Krishna's pleasure potential, as described in the Brahma Samhita, Ananda Chinmaya Rasa, Prati Prati Vita Bhis Eva Nija Rupa Taya Kala Bhi Goloka Eva Nivasta Akilatma Bhuto. गोभिन्नम आदिपुरुषम तम अचार सदमा सुकल्प वृक्ष लक्षव्रतेशु सुरभीर अभिपलायन तम लक्ष्मी सहर्ष सत संभ्रमा सेव्यमानम गोविन्दम आदिपुरुषम तम हम भजा में गोपीज वेर बर इगोज देर फोर कृष्णा इज नो विविडली डिस्क्राइब इन श्रीमद भागवतम Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had also described Krishna in this way: Ramya kachit upasana brajabada brajabadu vargena ya kalpita. All these gopis were going to the offer Krishna their presentations because the gopis are eternal associates of the Lord. Now the gopis were. More jubilant because of the news of Krishna's appearance in Vrindavan. Text twelve. Aashisha prayu ta aashisha prayunjan prayunjana shyam pahiti balke haridra shurne tela haridra shurne tela dvihis sinchayod ajan munjaguhu. Offering blessings to the newborn child, Krishna, the wives and the daughters, the cowherd men said, "Offering blessings to the newborn child, Krishna, the wives and daughters of the cowherd men said." May you become the king of Brahma and its inhabitants. They sprinkled a mixture of turmeric powder, oil, and water upon the birth, birthless supreme lord and offered their prayers. These all were all are the part of Lila. His direction all are dancing differently. Because love, no. Krishna wants that they should dance like this. Because these things, all what happening, this gives him pleasure. All everything is happening in Braja at the time of Nandotsa. It's a happening to giving the pleasure to Krishna and his associates, Nanda Maharaj, Yashoda, Ma, other, 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 etc. His friends, others. Text thirteen. 
हाथ भी थे उसने नाम तीन से ब्रज मांग थे नाउ द दैट द ऑल परवेडिंग अनलिमिटेड लॉर्ड कृष्णा द मास्टर ऑफ दिस कॉस्मिक मैनिफेस्टेशन हैड अराइव्ड विद इन द स्टेट ऑफ This is very significant that happened that time also. Purport: The Lord says in Bhagavad Gita, "Yada yada yada dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutthanam adharmasya tadatmanam sujamme." Whenever and wherever there is a decline in religious practice, O descendant of Bharata, and a predominant rise of irreligion. at that time i descend myself in the night. once in a day of brahma he comes to the house of nand maharaj in brindavan krishna is the master sarva loko maheshwaram he is saying i can whenever there is a problem in the society in the society and try to disturb the sadhu vaishnavas and brahmins i all come is not coming only for this i'm coming for you because in this by happening all this my devotee suffers and this i cannot see when my devotee suffers i have to come there for not only in the neighborhood of nandaj but all over the universe and in all the other universes musical sounds celebrated the auspicious arrival of the lord इन ग्लैडनेस द काहर्ड मैन इंजॉय द ग्रेट फेस्टिवल बाय स्प्लैशिंग वन पर्स विद मिक्सर ऑफ गर्ड कंटेन्स मिल्क बटर एंड वाटर दे थ्रू बटर ऑन वन अनादर and he smeared it on on one another body wow but uh, sometimes in india these days people when listen all these type of things that happening it was happened then say huh people don't have the things to eat and you see they are just spoiling the things like this level of thinking why it's all happening and how beautifully they cannot see the beautiful sights of all this happening so this is called blockage negativity first and positivity is nowhere it happens in india they say like this from this statement we can understand that 5000 years ago not only was there enough milk butter and curd to curd to eat drink and cook with but when there was a festival it could be thrown about without there was no limit to how extensively butter curd and the fact that in human society everyone had an ample stock of milk and by using it in many varied milk preparation people would keep good health in natural ways 
and thus enjoy life in Krishna consciousness. So milk is very important part. And if this is the milk of Vrindavan, complete Vrindavan Indian cows, this milk is not less than gold, liquid gold. People say petrol, gas is liquid gold. I say no. The milk of our Vrindavan cows is really liquid gold for us. Text 15 16. Nando Maham Manaste Bio Vaso Lankar Godanam Sut Magad Vandi Bio Yenni Vidyop Jivinaha Taistehe Kamer Dinatma Yatochit Yatochitam Ujat Vishnor Radhar Narthaya Vishnor Radhar Narthaya Saputr Siodhyaycha The great minded Maharaj Nanda gave clothing, ornaments, and cows in charity to the cowherd men in other to please Lord Vishnu. And thus he improved the condition of his own son in all respects. He distributed charity to the Sutas, the Magadas, the Vandis, and men of all other professions according to their educational qualification and satisfied everyone's desires. Purport. Although it has become fashionable to speak of Daridra Narayan, in India many people speak Daridra Narayan. The, word. the words Visioner Aradhanarthaya do not mean that all the people satisfied by Nanda Maharaj in this great ceremony were Vishnu's. They were not Daridra. Simply we think, oh, he donated. Needy people. My God. Many poor people were there in the, at the time of Nanda Maharaj. And Nanda Maharaj was the only who were giving the things. And the people... Their surrounding that visioner that is Adhanara Jata do not mean that all the people satisfied by Nanda Maharaj in this great ceremony were Vishnu's. They were not Daridra, nor were they Narayana. Rather, they were devotees of Narayana and by their educational qualification, they would satisfy Narayana. Therefore, satisfying them was an indirect way of satisfying Lord Vishnu. Yeah. Nanda Baba was wise that time. That where should I give the things? So it is very important. The message for us that if, when, whenever we give, to whom, we sh- to whom we should give? To donate. So b- by this type of donating, the thing is reaching to their Ishtadev directly. So it was happening else also there. By satisfying them, by Nanda Maharaj, indirect way of satisfying Lord Vishnu. Mad Bhakta Puja Bhyadika, the Lord says, worshipping of my devotee is better than worshipping me directly. Then the Baba is not saying, Lord Himself saying, that worshipped my dar- devotee first, then come to me. I am happy when my devotees are worshipped. The Varnashrama system is entirely mint for Vishnu Aradhana. Worship of Lord Vishnu. Varnashrama Charavata 
पुरुषेना पर पुमान विष्णु आराध्य थे द अल्टीमेट गोल ऑफ लाइफ इज टू प्लीज लॉर्ड विष्णु और कृष्णा द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड द अन द सिविलाइज मैन और मेटेरियलिस्टिक पर्सन एवर डज नॉट नो दिस एम ऑफ लाइफ in the cities we should not understand the high profile people are very civilized here it is saying they are not civilized who are not doing this type of things the uncivilized man or materialistic person however does नो दिस एम ऑफ लाइफ नाते विदु स्वर्था गतिम ही विष्णु वंस रियल सेल्फ रिस्पेक्ट लाइज इन सेटिस्फाइंग लॉर्ड विष्णु लॉर्ड कृष्णा नॉट सेटिस्फाइंग लॉर्ड कृष्णा बट इन स्टेड अटेम्प्टिंग टू बिकम हैप्पी थ्रू मटीरियल एडजस्टमेंट मानिना इज द रॉन्ग वे फॉर हैप्पीनेस people want to become happy with material adjustment outside this is not the way to become to make yourself happy because krishna is the root of everything if krishna pleased everyone is pleased in particular one's children and family members become happy in all respects nanda maharaj wanted to see his newborn child happy that was his purpose therefore he wanted to satisfy lord vishnu and to satisfy lord vishnu it was necessary to satisfy his devotees such as the learned brahmanas magadas and sutas thus in a roundabout way untime ultimately it was lord krishna who was to be satisfied by all this uh, arms and donate and giving gifts to the people nanda maharaj aim behind all this to just satisfy his ist dev vishnu रोहिणी च महाभागानंद गोपा विनिता वैचर दिव्य वास्त्र कंठावरण भूषिता द मोस्ट फॉर्चुनेट रोहिणी द मदर ऑफ बलदेवा वॉज ऑनर्ड बाय महाराज एंड यशोदा एंड दस्ट गॉर्जियसली एंड डेकोरेटेड हर सेल्फ विद नेकलेस अ गार्ड एंड एंड अदर ऑर्नामेंट शी वॉज बिजी वॉन्डरिंग हियर एंड देयर टू रिसीव द वीमेन हु वेयर गेस्ट at the festival this was the job of mother rohini purport rohini another wife of vasudevas was also kept under the care of nanda maharaj with her sons baladeva because her husband was imprisoned by kamsa she was not very happy but on the occasion of krishna janmashtami But on the occasion of Krishna Janmashtami Nandotsava, when Nanda Maharaj gave dresses and ornaments to others, he also gave gorgeous garments. And ornaments to Rohini, so that she could take part in the festival. Thus, she also was busy. receiving the women who were guests because of her good fortune in being able to raise krishnas and balaram together she is described as mahabhaga greatly fortunate rohini was greatly fortunate 
टेक्सिटी तत् आरभ्य नंद से ब्रज सम समृद्धिमान हरे निवास आत्मगुण रमा क्रीडम भुन निर्वह ओ महाराज परीक्षित द होम ऑफ नंद महाराज इज इटर्नली अबोर्ड ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सन गॉड हेड एंड हिज पर्सनल क्वालिटीज एंड इज देयर फॉर ऑलवेज नेचुरली नेचुरली इन डॉड विद द ओपलेंस ऑफ ऑल वेल्थ येट बिगिनिंग फ्रॉम लॉर्ड कृष्णाज अपीरेंस देयर become the place for the past time for the past time of the goddess of fortune nanda maharaj is eternally the more awesome personality of godhead and his transcendental qualities as is stated in the brahma samhita lakshmi sasrar sat sam brahma shiv yam shiv yanam gobinda madhipurusham the abode of krishna is always served by hundreds and thousands of gold thousands of goddesses of fortune wherever krishna goes the goddess of fortune naturally resides with him the chief of the goddess of fortune is shrimati radha rani jay jay shri radhe जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे नोट टू थिंक पुट प्रेशर ऑन आवर माइंड सो द चीफ गॉडेस ऑफ फॉर्च्यून इज राधा रानी वुड ऑल्सो अपियर दे आर वेरी सून नंद महाराज एबॉर्ड वॉज ऑलरेडी ऑपोनेंट एंड कृष्णा एंड सिंस कृष्णा हैड अपियर it would be opulent in all respects text 19 gopan gokul rakshayam nirupya mathuram gata nanda kansasya varshikyam karam datum kurudva Sukhdev Goswami continued thereafter mm, sorry oh maharaj parikshit the home of nan maharaj is eternally the abode of supreme personality of god and his transcendental qualities and is therefore always naturally endowed with the opulence of all wealth yet beginning from lord krishna's appearance there it become the place for the past times of the goddess of fortune for for as is stated in the brahma samhita lakshmi sarsa sata samprama shibhamanam gobinda madhipursam tamam bajami the abode of krishna is always served by hundreds and thousands of goddesses of fortune wherever krishna goes the goddess of fortune naturally resides with him the chief of the goddess of fortune is smriti radharani therefore krishna's appearance in the land of braja indicated that the chief goddess of fortune radharani would also appear there very soon gopan gokul rakshayam nirupya matram gata nanda kansasya varshikyam karum datum krudva sukadev goswami continued thereafter my dear king parikshit a best protector of the kuru dynasty nanda maharaj appointed the local cow herd men to protect gokula and then went to mathura to pay the yearly taxes to king kamsa purport because the killing of babies was going on and had already become known in this verse the kamsa and his associates were killing the small babies in the brother reason nanda maharaj was very much afraid for his newborn child 
Thus, he appointed the local cowherd men to protect his home and child. He wanted to go immediately to Mathura to pay the taxes due, and also to offer some presentation of his newborn son for the protection of his of the child. He had worshipped various demigods and forefathers, and given charity to everyone's satisfaction. Similarly, Nanda Maharaj wanted not only to pay Kamsa the yearly taxes, but also to offer some presentation, so that Kamsa too would be satisfied. His only concern was how to protect his transcendental child, Krishna. Now is the Arti time. I have to go in Arti. Jai Jai Shri Radhe.